Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft here, and today we're going to talk uh, about a different kind of guy line tensioner. And this one I have affectionately named Qbert. So, unlike the red aluminum three ring tensioners, these ones are made of stainless steel uh, and they're a little heavier. Um, still not bad though. Let's get these on the scale with a little uh, carabiner. These things weigh two grams, so won't add to the weight much. 1.6 ounces and 46 grams. Still not very heavy. Um, you know, the main difference between these two uh, is a strong man could squeeze these clothes with his hand. Um, you know, they are lightweight, they're not designed to take a terrible amount of force, um, but, you know, they serve their purpose definitely well. I, there isn't anything lighter and better out there, uh, in my opinion, to use with paracord that's four dollars. These have many more uses, uh, and there are uh, many more ways you can configure them. Um, we'll go over uh, a few of those today. Uh, really, you're only limited by your imagination. You can use them for key rings, you can use them to hang gear from. Um, I don't think you could repel from them, uh, but they are stainless and they are metal, so I think, yeah, you're only limited by your imagination with these ones. So I'll show you a couple different setups. Uh, it is essentially the same as this and they, they all work on the on the same kind of principle where um, you know your cordage so much like the three hole aluminum guy line tensioners these act in a very similar way and you can even see they have three holes and if you'd imagine it they kind of look like cubert so using these is very similar uh, to the three rings. So we'll just take a piece of paracord. Uh, there are many, 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 many different ways of using these. I will show probably four or five uh, today. So just like uh, the red ones, the first thing you do is pop your line through the small hole and give it a half hitch. Uh, but I always throw an extra loop in there. Okay. What that does is when you tighten it up, it gives you a nice base at the bottom uh, for that to sit against and less likely to pull out. So several ways you can do this from here. Um, <clears throat> let's say that uh, this end is going out towards your stake. and that the other end of this would be going up to your tent or your tarp. So we'll just throw a loop in the end of that real quick. So that's going to go to our tarp. So what you would do is bring your cord up through the big hole. over Hubert's nose mouth. We'll be shorten this up a bit. So my thumb is a tent stick and there's that. So I am pulling as hard as I can and it's not slipping. So I'll show that again in a close-up. So this loop will go out to your tent stake. I'll just use my use my thumb. These are so easy to use, you can film a YouTube video while putting them into operation. How easy is that? Okay, so thumb is the tent stake. We come up through the hole. Pop it over Hubert's mouth, and that's it. 
There's other other things you can do to secure this now, uh, but this in and of itself is done. You can also okay. So what you can do is make a bite, about eight inches of nail together, four inches of each end. So we just have a four inch a four inch tail here. Pop that up through Hubert's mouth. Wrap it back behind and pull it tight. Okay. Now it's attached. No knots. No nothing. Now you can do the same thing. Out the tent. Up and around. Bada bing, bada boom. And it goes back. So this alleviates the need to. Uh, you know, put a knot through there. Now another way you can do it, uh, this is how you would uh, use these like a uh, prussic. You bring it up and through the small holes like that. And then take this and pop it up back behind and pull it down like that. That's one reason why uh, this style um, of tensioner works so great because normally you don't have that many uh, that many 90 degree angles. So when you come up through here, Your angle is really mild, as you can see. So it comes around. Need a little knife. So as you can see, your cord comes up, rotates around, and then just kind of corkscrews on its way back out. Better for your cordage. Okay, so let's say, this was a sleeping bag, uh, and in today's down world, it, it maybe it's actually an inflatable uh, camp pillow. Uh, let's say that uh, you know your cinch straps for your sleeping bag, one of them broke, and now it's all mushroomed out on the end. Take a Q-Bert, <coughs> put a loop through here. Wrap it around like that. Boom. You're done. Throw them on your keychain, clip them on. You know, you could knot your cords on them so they're basically ready to go at all times. And uh, I think it's, I think it's a pretty awesome product, and I think they have a lot of uses. It's definitely something worthy of adding. Uh, you know, something that's not really going to break the bank, but it does save you a lot of time when you can go up to your tent, loop your cords through, or you know, have these pre-done already. Uh, or if you needed to set up a gear line around a tree, this is an easy way to do it. Um, you could also use this on like a, if you are doing a ridge line for a tarp, uh, these would be good at the tree ends. You could also attach them directly to your tarp and then run your, <clears throat> run your cordage in from the tree. Just loop it in and you're literally done. So the store is currently down right now. Uh, I'm in the process of changing banks and my service fee for my shop happened to uh, coincide with that change over so I should have it back up and running um, within a couple days uh, so these are on there uh, also the, uh, the three hole tensioners and a ton of other stuff so just head on over to the Facebook store uh, click the shop link you know if this is something you want to add to your to your gear uh, free shipping 
uh, for orders over 20 bucks and uh, anything under that I believe is three. This is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. We'll see you next time. And here are some final thoughts. Yes. You don't need any of these. You don't need these either. As lightweight as these are, um, you don't need any of it because it can all be done with knots. Um, and it can all be done with cordage. So using these, in my opinion, is a necessity. Do you know how to tie the corner of your tent out using only cordage? Do you know how to tie out the uh, corner of your tarp without using, um, you know, any metal bits to make it happen? Well, congratulations. That means you've graduated to the next step, which allows you to carry cool stuff like this because you know that without this, you can still accomplish your task. I say the same thing about starting fires. You know, if you can bow drill, if you can use a flint and steel, if you can use a ferro rod, if you can use um, matches, you know, all of those things are steps in you know, mastering uh, fire starting. Once you've mastered those steps, bring a blowtorch with you. You know what I mean? Like you've, you've graduated. Uh, keep your skills going and uh, you know, maintain, your, uh, maintain your ability to use those other methods. But um, I kind of feel like you know, people jump in and buy all this gear but without the gear, where would they be? You know, where, you know, ignorance isn't necessarily a bad word. You can definitely use it, you know, derogatorily, if that's even a word, because I like to make stuff up, because that's the way I am, because I'm kind of crazy like that. So these are, you know, what I would consider luxury items, and uh, things that make things easier for you uh, when you're out on the trail. These make setup really fast. Uh, things like this allow you to get on with other stuff, you know, so you're not sitting around tying stuff out. I mean, it's, you know, loop, swoop, and pull, and you're basically done. So, now that I've slid my table all over the place and got everything out of view, um, we'll get back to these. If I am, if I am.